Hello everybody, welcome to Power Crew, and today we're going to mine some turtle coin using the Raspberry Pi. So to do that, first of all, we're going to download a Raspbian image. So I'm going over here to the Raspbian download page, which I will have in the description below, and I will download an image of Raspbian Stretch Lite. I will also download a copy of Etcher, which we will use to write the Raspbian image onto our SD card. Okay, so I've now downloaded the Raspbian Stretch Lite image and I've extracted it into a folder. And I've also installed my copy of Etcher. So let's go ahead and flash it. I'll click Select Image. Navigate to the directory that I have the image and select it. Make sure that I've selected the right device and hit Flash. And we'll wait for the flashing process to finish. Okay, so now that the flashing has been finished, let's eject our SD card. Oh, actually, Etcher has already done that for us, so let me take it out. Although, before we boot up our Pi, we first have to make a small modification in order to enable SSH. So, we're going to reinsert the SD card, go to the boot partition over here, and create a new file, just any file, I'm gonna create a text file. Name it SSH, and remove the extension, so it's just SSH and nothing else. Hit yes. And that's it. Now you can eject the SD card. We will connect our SD card to our Raspberry Pi and boot it up. Now I'll give my Pi some time to boot up for the first time and then I will SSH into it. To SSH into the Pi, we will be using a small utility called Putty, which I will have linked in the description below. So head over to Putty's website, download Putty, and once you run it, you will be greeted by a screen over here in which you will enter pi at the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, which if you don't know, you can find out by using an application on your mobile phone like Thing, and then also enter port 22. These are the defaults for your Raspbian installation. When you're ready, you just hit open. You might get this warning since you're connecting the first time, so just hit yes, and then enter the Pi's password. By default, it's Raspberry, hit enter, and there you go, we're SSH'd into our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so once you've SSH'd into your Pi, what you want to do is make a new directory for our miner. I'm gonna call it um, CPU miner. I'm going to ls into our new directory. <coughs> and now we're going to use an automated script to take care of the installation and compilation process. So what you want to do is go ahead and go over to this github page by a pressing which has an install sh script which we're going to use so hit clone or download and copy the url don't worry i have the url in the description below so we'll go back to our ssh prompt and type in git clone and paste in the url that we copied earlier this will clone the script that we saw on github to our local folder so now Let's hit ls, and as you can see, there's a new folder created, so let's navigate into that. And in here, as you can see, we have the script. So let's give it execution rights by typing in chmod plus x install.sh, and then we will run the script. Keep in mind that this might take a while as it will install all required packages and will compile the miner. At the end you will get a couple of lines that say that there was an, un an unexpected parameter in the script. That's because the script is pre-configured with a wallet parameter, but don't worry, ignore that. When you're finished you will get back to the terminal prompt. Okay, so now that the script has finished running, just hit ls. And as you can see there's a CPU miner dash multi folder, so let's cd into that. And now we're going to run this command. Now this command tells our CPU miner <clears throat> to start mining on the mine together turtle pool, which is over here. I'll highlight it for you. And I've also entered my wallet address after tag U, which is over here. If you don't know how to create a wallet, I have made a video previously <clears throat> explaining how to mine turtle coin on Windows. So if you don't have a wallet, check that out. The beginning shows how to create a wallet. And once that is done, we'll just hit enter and the mining shall begin. And there you have it guys, we're mining turtle coin on a Raspberry Pi. 
with a low hash rate but we're still mining. So if you want to check your progress just head over to the mine together homepage under where it says your stats and payment history enter your wallet address hit look up and you can see your current hash rate mine is two at the moment I have two hashes per second which will yield about 9.6 turtle coins per day but I've just begun running the miner so hash rate might go up I will let you know in the comments below so if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe for more awesome content I will also have my turtle wallet address in the description below in case you guys mine some turtle coins and want to give us a small tip I will see you in the next video